The Fundamental Principle of a Republic, delivered by Anna Howard Shaw on June 21st of 1915 in Altenburg, New York, USA. Now, one of two things is true. Either a republic is a desirable form of government, or else it is not. If it is, then we ought to have it. If it is not, then we ought not to pretend that we have it. We ought at least to be true in our ideals. And the men of New York had, for the first time in their lives, the rare opportunity on the second day of next November of making the state truly a part of the republic. It is the greatest opportunity which has ever come to the men of the state. They have never had a more serious problem to solve before. They will never have a more serious problem to solve in any future of our nation's life. And the thing that disturbs me more than anything else in connection is that so few people realize what a profound problem they have to solve on November 2nd. It is not merely a trifling matter. It is not a little thing that does not concern the state. It is the most vital problem that we have. And any man who goes to the polls on the second day of next November without surely informing himself in regard to the subject is unworthy of the citizens of the state and unfit to cast the ballot. If woman suffered is wrong, it is a great wrong. If it is right, it is a profound and fundamental right. And we all know, if we know what a republic is, that it is the fundamental principle upon which a republic must rise. Let us see where we are as people, how we act here and what we think we are. The difficulty with the men of this country is that they are so consistent in their inconsistency that they are not aware of having been inconsistent. Because their consistency has been so continuous and their inconsistency so consecutive that it has never been broken. From the beginning of our nation's life to the present time. Thank you.